life such a beautiful thing? Don't you think? You guys are enjoying this content. Don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on. Be a part of the notification. <laughs> Special day today, guys. My knife dealer is coming over for some food. I asked my knife dealer. <laughs> Everybody has a drug dealer. I have a knife dealer, guys. I have a knife dealer. But my knife dealer is coming. I asked him what food he wants. And he said, Thai food. Shout out to the Thais. Where are you guys at? Let me show you how easy it is to make the best Thai food ever. My twist. My take on it. No way. Thai papaya salad. I know this is not your traditional way to make it, but it's my take on twisting it. All right. Two tablespoons of fish sauce going in. Got one whole lime. Squeeze that in. Three tablespoon of honey. Half a tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna chop in two Thai chili. Mix this vinaigrette in. I got some cherry tomatoes here, which I'm just gonna have. Toss them into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. Get it. Unripe green papaya. So all I'm gonna do first, rip off the skin here. Grab my zigzag peeler. And I'm gonna peel this all in. Last few touches, half a cup of green beans. Third cup of peanuts. Just gonna smash this in. Next, you can't have green papaya salad or Thai green papaya salad without sticky rice. So I got glutinous rice here, roughly around five cups here. So I'm just gonna throw it into my steamer. Take my lid, throw it on, and we're gonna steam this for about 30 to 35 minutes. Let's do up some coconut rice. So all I have is four cups of rice here, which I'm just gonna rinse twice. I'm gonna put my index finger on the tip of the rice surface here. I'm gonna fill the water up to that line. It always comes out perfect. Get some coconut milk, maybe two good heaping scoop of it. A teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of sugar. Some of you guys be so confused right now. It's like, yo, Quan, I thought you were part of the tiger gang, guys. My tiger rice cooker right now is packed with rice, and I gotta use this one. So shout out to Aroma Gang, where are you guys at? <laughs> Next, Thai fried chicken. So I got 10 pieces of drumsticks here, one tablespoon of fish sauce, one teaspoon of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of ground coriander. Last but not least, one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna let this marinate for about two to three hours minimum. Next, Thai red curry. Two tablespoons of oil going in, half a cup of red onions going in, one tablespoon of garlic, one teaspoon of ground ginger. Once I got this nice and sauteed, I got two pounds of dark meat boneless chicken here. Half a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of pepper. Red curry paste here, half a cup of this paste in, half a cup of coconut milk, one tablespoon of curry powder, two cups of water, a tablespoon of fish sauce going in. Once I got this nice little bowl, I got one cup of broccoli going in, half of a red pepper, half of an orange pepper. Thai basil, minced pork. So I got some oil here, one tablespoon of garlic, chop in one Thai chili because I don't want this dish to be too spicy. Two pounds of ground pork, a tablespoon of fish sauce, half a tablespoon of oyster sauce, half a tablespoon of sugar. Once you get your pork nice and cooked, I just got a bunch of Thai basil here, which I'm just gonna pull in or rip in. Chicken has been marinating for about three hours. Got one pound of rice flour here, which I'm just gonna dump in. I got vegetable oil here heating on a medium low heat for about 20 minutes. Take off any excess into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. Just gotta get in. Cooking time for this, 15 to 16 minutes. Time to set this up. So Wilson's coming in 15 minutes here. Coconut rice here, pork basil, all around here, my Thai fried chicken, it's not as crunchy, but it is delicious. I fried up some eggs here, which I'm just going to throw on top. my red curry, sticky rice dome here, some papaya salad, cucumber I sliced up, very fancy, check that out, <laughs> and I'm gonna place it here, my fried chicken, top this off with some fried shallots, Thai basil tree, to be exact. Here. Thai chili. Lastly, a leaf right there. There it is, guys. My Thai feast 
made before your eyes. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time, guys. Look how easy it is. <laughs> what happened? I, uh, I fucked up my, my joint. Shit, man. <laughs> what happened? Did you fuck the redidity? I just thought I did it again. Yeah? There it is, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, quiet. What, what were you doing? Deadlifting? I, I did squats and yeah. uh, high bar, and yeah. then I think I just like put too much too pressure much? on my foot, and I just died. So eagle lifting, eh? <laughs> and today, <laughs> I did this guy. <laughs> Look at the kitty. Oh my god, look at, look at the lighting. Oh my god! So good lighting. High feast. Come here. Holy smokes. <laughs> Are you gonna come eat? You're not gonna come eat? Whoa. Look at this. Look at this guy's bag. Look at this guy. I celebrate today just because I got this water. It's expensive water, man. Two dollars more. Check yo, that out. <laughs> yo, 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 look at this. This is the San Pellegrano. Yeah, that's the San Pellegrano. That's the fancy one, right? That's the fancy one. <laughs> um, I gotta bring you something after what? this. Yeah, this I don't, dude, I'm so like excited. And I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm literally like not even by the food. Like, what to do, man? Yeah, let's eat. Sticky rice, uh, Thai papaya salad. This is the pork. I'm not sure what you said with the pork and the eggplant. Yep. I even at, like I went to a Thai restaurant. I'm like, hey, do you know what a pork and eggplant is? He's like, no. I was like, okay, I'll just grab the pork. Okay. So I'm not sure what it is. So it's probably the pork but this is just the basil, basil pork, Thai basil pork. Yeah. Uh, Thai fried chicken, uh, red curry, and just the egg, just to mix it with the rice. This is the coconut rice here. And there's lime for it too. So second time having a guest because the, my first guest was Dewey. Wait, Dewey then Dweeson, Paul. No, no, Dewey, well, Dewey, that was Paul. the outdoor one. Yeah, that right? was the outdoor one. Well, I watched that vlog. That was so sick. That was like that's why we should go camping. Yeah, the camping one. Right? That was like the bougiest like <laughs> thing I've ever we seen should. someone do. We should go camping, man. Maybe in winter. What about that? Okay. Do you want to cuddle? Is that? <laughs> is that? Is that what we're doing? No, 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 no. Oh, Win man. winter and uh, camping winter or oh, ca winter and ca what's it? Win ca can't even talk right now. Camping in winter. I think that would be something new. Have and you fun. been hunting before? No. Would you hunt? I don't think I can. Okay, how about this? I how about if I were to get wild game back for you? Would you like to cook that? Or what, what's wild game? game? Turkey? Like turkey? Uh, turkeys, yeah. uh, moose. But how's the meat though? The meat's probably kind of like chewy. It, it's got this uh, deep purple hue to it. It's like, so, it's just so like, I don't know. You, you eat it and you're like, you know, you go kale Ken times twenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Honestly, like, it's it's just so much different than like farm. Because it is food. organic, right? That's, I mean, that's you shot the deer yeah. and then you eat it within like I don't know, I don't, eight hours. It's I don't crazy. think I, I I don't think I have the guts to. It's kind of like it's kind of like hypocritical of me, right? Yeah. Like eating meat and can't or won't be able to kill an animal. I well, how many animals you killed already? I killed. I bonked a fish. Vegans. Go after this guy. I bonked, <laughs> I bonked the Go fish. after this guy. I, 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 it was like the most beautiful bonk. It was like, and then it like slowly like went to bed. It I can't do that. <laughs> first bite. Like, take the first bite. Of what? It's so much, man. Right? It can be a lot. I right? think you and I can probably crush like eighty-seven <laughs> percent. Yo, it's all you, man. Like when I cook, man, it's just like um, I lose this appetite. I have to build this appetite again because I'm so tired after cooking. I think but then like after like I finish editing the video and just like doing some parts of it and doing dishes and coming back like I, I'm pumped for it. I wonder if it's just because all right cheers Yo, to this. On, on. I wonder if it's because like your like your nose and your taste buds are just like so utterly stimulated. Yeah, maybe. Like you're just like constantly cooking, tasting, smelling, yeah. eating. Maybe. And it's just like what do you do? Just gotta take a break. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to approach this, but let's, let's just... You gotta give everybody a first bite first, though. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I, I feel like I'm doing this wrong, but... Yeah, let's do whatever, man. Alright, we do You got it. it. Go ahead. Cheers, guys. Oof. So you got the egg and the coconut rice. And egg, the... coconut rice with the pork? Yeah. You gotta put some papaya salad on that, too. Mm. <laughs> oh! <my God. laughs> Chase it with the papaya salad. Oh my god. There's a little tangy one. Mm. 
Not too shabby. Oh man, I am <laughs> straight up 10 out of 10 spoiled right now. <laughs> well, wait, did I even introduce you? We just walked in and we just started hugging and everything? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Everybody, this is my wife, not my wife, <laughs> my knife dealer. That's what I was telling you guys about in the beginning of the video. This man sells me knives. So if you guys want knives, this man right here. Tell I, me. You, oh. I feel like. Honestly, I make sure Kwong doesn't pay for anything because this is more than payment. <laughs> this is like so sick. For me, this guy's the nicest guy. I just see what kwong has been doing because we went to high school together. Mm. And what ended up happening was um, you, you you went from like a very quiet, he begged gangster. <laughs> like, if you actually, you actually thought I was a gangster, you were so G, dude. Mm, okay. Like, so G. If you actually have like a uh, an old school photo of Kwong, he's like decked out in all white. Like always, <laughs> no. All white, man. All white, right? And you're like, oh, you don't want to mess with this guy. <laughs> and then for from high school to fast forward 11 years later, yeah. you're doing YouTube. Yeah. Um, How different was that? Dude, like I'm getting the heebie jeebies. You see it? You see yeah. It? <laughs> it's so cool to see because not a lot of people actually take the risk and take the plunge to do something a little bit different than what most people want to do. So that was scary. I think that I think I think that's like the most scary part in life. Was really just taking a risk, doing something new. What you know what? With me selling knives, so I've been doing it for ten years. I quit for three, like in mm -hmm. between, because I just know what to do. Like you mm -hmm. graduate high school mm -hmm. and then you go to university and you you still don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I found the knife job and my mom hated it. Hated it. You you found what? The knife job. What knife job? The cutco job. No. And then she actually wanted me to quit every single year mm -hmm. for the last five years. Like in the beginning, from my inception. So it's because she didn't believe in them. It's not that. I think she just didn't because my mom's an immigrant and she didn't want us to have like a hard life. So mm -hmm. an easy nine to five that pays a salary. Yeah. Uh, you get your whatever your three weeks vacation. Yeah. It's so much easier than my mom cleaning toilets to running her own business. That's but awesome. But growing up, being able to be like, oh, my mom, my dad ran a restaurant and my mom went to school. Like I specifically remember going to McEwen with my mom mm -hmm. because we, we couldn't afford a babysitter. So mm -hmm. she'd just take us to school. Mm -hmm. From that to where I wanted to do this independent commission job with knives, yeah. it was just like the friendliest way to tell my mom, no, I want to follow in your footsteps. I need to like continue to grind and, and yeah. really figure it out because if it's too easy, <laughs> um, it's not fun. It really isn't. So what was your, like, when you took the plunge into doing YouTube? No, with, with, with that, with that, where, where you're saying when your parents were immigrants and are trying to get by, mm -hmm. I think they're the true entrepreneur, right? Do you believe that? I they come here with nothing. No English, nothing. no nothing. Dude, my, my dad... You just try to figure it out, right? My dad had to fight the war. My dad got drafted into the war. That's crazy. Like, at... Yeah, at 18, he had to fight a war. Like, what were we doing when we were 18? Like... I drinking, mean, <laughs> drinking, or That's watching, so mm -hmm. watching things on the internet mm -hmm. that uh, should not be watched in front of anyone else. But, <laughs> you know what? You, you know what <laughs> Baking videos? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking videos? <laughs> that is crazy, though. Yeah, and now it's like if you look at that at that age, right? Let's say your dad, well, you say your dad went to war, mm -hmm. eighteen, right? And look at what we're doing. Do you, think, do, you, do you believe we're spoiled? Oh, definitely. We're so spoiled so here. So spoiled, dude. Um, what a big difference that was. Like, what a huge difference that was for for someone to get drafted to the war with mm -hmm. no choice. Like, mm -hmm. you, you had to fight in a war to us, like, being able to, like, have the whole world in our hand now. The mm -hmm. internet, like, we have our phones and stuff. It's so crazy. So, that just shows us, shows us that we're a small generation. No, yeah, we are. We totally are. Like, I mean, when you think about it, everything now is about dank memes. <laughs> huh? Right? It's like, how dank of a dank meme can you make? <laughs> you go on IG, it's about peach videos mm -hmm. and big booties and like, yeah, memes. And it's like, back then, it's like, we actually had to go outside and play. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm hmm. So what was it like going from doing like your cooking job, yeah. like your nine to five, yeah. to taking the plunge on this? And what was like, how well received were you when you told your mom or your brother or your dad or like your friends? I would say my parents were 
My parents are the most chillest people, I'll say. Like, they, they don't really understand it. Like, when I tell them something, they're just like, okay. <laughs> but when I said, when I, like, my friends, like, my peers, um, when it came down to my friends, it was just mm -hmm. like, kind of like, they didn't understand. My closest friend, I think my closest friend didn't understand what I was doing. I'll say that. Because, like, when you do something that you want to do in life, you got to put that time, like, for you, right? You understand? It's just like, you can't really do what you did before mm -hmm. just because you're so focused on doing what you have to do. It's just like, it's just saying Snoop Dogg, you're, you know all Snoop Dogg. When he just talks about levels, you should mm -hmm. YouTube it. It's like a, a YouTube Snoop Dogg's and levels. And it's just crazy how it's just like, you want to improve, but your friend's still down here. Mm -hmm. But for you to, uh, he's pretty much saying for you to be friends with them again, you have to drop your level back down with them. So if you want to keep improving, you have to What's your it. thing about buying a home? Ooh, you know what? Here's the thing. I think for the people that have the advantage of living at home, mm -hmm. milk it. Milk it. Because you save 12... Okay, if you wanted to go rent mm -hmm. a condo or a little place, yep. average, 1000 bucks a month, yeah. right? By yourself. And yep. you have a girlfriend, you can split that half yep. and half. A thousand bucks a month, dude. That's twelve grand that you can save every single year if you live at home. That's why I like Asian parents. Asian parents will pay you to stay with them. I know. <laughs> it's, it's so crazy. Right. Like my mom does not ever want me to go, ever. Like ever. Do you have a really good relationship with your parents? Yeah, I got a good relationship with my parents. Same with my me. mom right now is just in Vietnam, so yeah. every day we just talk. Oh, that's so cool. Yo, um. Definitely, I, I think I'm gonna go to Vietnam in January. So I'll bring this you coffee. Yeah. This January? Yeah. This January. Where do you usually stay when you're in Vietnam? Um, in Saigon. Saigon. Yeah. Cause the main uh, city. Uh, in the main Vietnam. city. Uh, I've got my aunts and uncles that live there and stuff too. So. Can you speak with me? Uh, come on. <laughs> I think that's the only thing. Yeah. I don't know why, but it's like every time you go to, um, or every time you're trying to learn a new language, you know, hello, or the swear words, and you just remember it, you know, you and go. it just sticks to your head. It's like, oh, what do you know? Oh yeah, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't> get, <laughs> I swear. Man, I can only count to ten, dude. And yeah. then if I want to do eleven, I have to be like, <laughs> muay, <laughs> muay mo. But what's your fluent in, um, language? Which Chinese. Is, with, with your family? So, <clears throat> both my mom and dad were born in Saigon, so they were like, born in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. But, um, my, both my parents that actually are of Chinese descent, mm -hmm. so from China, mm -hmm. China to Vietnam, and then mm -hmm. once the war happened, all that crazy, yeah. all that crazy stuff, mm -hmm. that's when they uh, became boat people, came here to Canada to start their, start their life. Um, I don't know if you have this, but do your parents tell you about the history of your family? Like history as in family wise, yeah. or just how they got here. How they got here? Mm -hmm. My parents, my dad won't tell me anything. Really? Even yeah. 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 Did you, you said he he was in the war? Right? Yeah. I think that's why. Mm. I like. I think that really messes with people mm -hmm. sometimes, and it's just like I don't know. They, like I want to know the history of my dad and my mom, but they're just kind of like, no, we're good. We're proud Canadians. Okay. <laughs> I think that's awesome how Canada would um, take countries. Like, we have so much countries here, right? Like, people worldwide. Like, worldwide. Mm -hmm. That's living here. And when people ask, like, yo, what does Canadians eat? What do Canadians eat? Or don't they eat poutine, you know? You're like, poutine, but you don't eat poutine every day. No, dude. Yeah. What do I eat? Like, once a year, poutine. <laughs> I'm in trying to eat, like, really good, but mm -hmm. in diversify. Like, mm -hmm. like, we got a really good pupusa place here okay. in Edmonton. Oh, where? Uh, it's called Mamenchi's. Oh, which, which, and downtown? Now? Downtown. Mm -hmm. It's like a hole in the wall. It's beside like an auto body shop, like super mm -hmm. shady. <laughs> like, the, the shadier the place is, the more authentic mm -hmm. it is. I said that 100% too. Mm -hmm. That is true. But then, we have all these amazing, like, little, like, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever, it's like eight bucks for a little sandwich, or, you know, medium sized sandwich, but mm -hmm. it's so good. Locally owned. So what do Canadians eat? I don't know. Like, unless you're a hick and you just drink like you're, <laughs> you're, you're lucky and 
<laughs> your pasta, like I think we work. We, we eat everything, dude. We eat really good. Like you should make a Canadian feast. And like what? What Canadian, Canadian feast? They're like Canadians eat the mayo bars. I'm like, what's a the mayo bar? <laughs> Nanaimo bar? <laughs> is it Nanaimo bar? Nanaimo bar. That's what I'm <laughs> Down the street is the mayo bar. Dude, what? Okay, I feel like if you went to like the brew, Canadian brew house, mm -hmm. that would be the Canadian feast. Canadian Burgers, mm -hmm. fries, triple A grade steak, mm -hmm. um, bacon. Yes. Bacon, yeah. Stuff, man. Mm -hmm. like, in Japan, they don't mess around. They're like, okay, I'm gonna be this master noodle chef. Mm -hmm. That's all they do: eat, mm -hmm. sleep, and breathe noodle. Mm -hmm. Like you have like the GTR, right? Mm -hmm. And that's all they do. They're just a master, like they're master blacksmith. They'll mm -hmm. make like the best mochi, yeah, the yeah. best ice cream. It doesn't matter what whatever they do. They put like literally everything into it. Like they just everything. focus on it. Yeah. You think Japan's the the most advanced country right now in technology? What? Tech? I think mm. Korea is. Korea? Yeah. But do, doesn't Korea... Isn't, isn't Japan and Korea have like something special? Like, not something special together, but just like... Influence by? So huge. Because mm. when you see their food, it's like kind of influenced with Japan and Korea, right? What is your favorite Japanese dish and what's your favorite Korean dish? My favorite Korean dish? Japanese I don't know. Japanese dish... Everyone always says sushi, but I never really... Oh, ramen. Wait, is that Korean? No, ja Japanese no, it's just ramen. Yeah. Any type of ramen. Korean... Man, they're fried... KFC. Wait, Korean fried chicken. Korean <laughs> That, the yeah, real yeah, KFC. Yeah, yeah, that's a real KFC. I am a huge fan of... Tteokbokki. <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> First time when I seen that, I was like... Tte. Like, I tried to... Try to Pronounce it, right? Yeah. And people are like, what the heck are you saying? Um, <laughs> da, 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 I, yeah, you have to do ESL, man. You don't know how to speak English. You have to. Pokey. Well, you eat that a lot. You cook it now, right? I cook it now. I. It's not as like. um. It's. I still. When I did it, mm -hmm. it's still a little watery. Mm -hmm. But I just keep cooking it down. This is really starchy. I think the word I need to look for when I'm cooking is the P word. Do you know what the P word is? Patience. Yes. I have no patience. I look at it, I'm like, mm -hmm. good enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of know what you mean. Like when you're cooking, you kind of don't want to eat. Yeah, yeah. Because you're putting all like this Kung Fu into it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And then you're like, when you finally get to eat, you're just like, Oh, well, I already like kind of mm -hmm. ate and tested yeah. and smelled and waited. That's true. That's true. Or like you just snack on like yeah. Pringles yeah. or Starbursts because it's right there. <laughs> That's what I always do, man. Mm. Japanese food. What's the best Japanese food you ever eat? You went to Japan, so you tried like the best. Um. My favorite thing in Japan is the sashimi. Mm -hmm. So we went to the Tsukuji, Tsujiki, sorry, so what, what, the fish market, I'm just going to say fish market. Yeah. And they have these like big tunas, like the size of, literally the size of this plate, mm -hmm. if not bigger. And we sat at the restaurant and mm -hmm. I was like, I want one of those, mm -hmm. right? Literally, they cut it, they walked it right over and put it right in front of me. And mm -hmm. I tried it and it was just so different. It was like, whoa, like... It's fresh right out, Ooh. rather out, out, right out of the ocean, right? Yeah, and like, it's such a big show, because yeah. they go and they, they cut it, the giant tuna in front of yeah. people, mm -hmm. and then it allures people to come in to like eat it, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's like, whoa, like, they, they had to get that fish that morning, Yeah, do the show, and then they need to come and eat. What do you mean do the show first? <clears throat> well, like the auction? Not the auction, like, so they have this big tuna, mm -hmm. They'll debone the tuna in front of people. Oh, okay. And it takes like three people. And mm -hmm. then they have this half saw just going at it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, whoa. So I think that's like the best part about Japan and why I love Japanese culture mm -hmm. is because the anime is 10 out of 10. Yeah. You can't go wrong with anime. How do you say Naruto? Naruto. Uh, I said Naruto last time. Everybody freaked out on me. Naruto. 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 Sakura chan. No, Sasuke. <laughs> Sasuke <-kun. laughs> Come <laughs> on! <laughs> 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 Whatever my no jitsu! 
That's Wilson. <laughs> Yo got flame. Oh, this guy's making his own beer. I, I was gonna say that one time when I was like, you should bring your beer one day. Yes. And we'll we'll do like some food. We'll put the beer. Excuse me. We'll put the beer together and we just mix yeah, stuff. Mix stuff. Well, I'm gonna get you some beer later today. Mm. And Wait, your beer's done? No, so my beer, my beer's gonna be a lychee saison, and that's coming out um, October, November 2018. But the brewery opened up yesterday for the grand opening, so it was, uh, it was just, yeah, it'll be good, man. Like, yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah. Well, what, 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 what are you making again? A lychee. A lychee saison or a lychee double aged barrel. That's still Asian. Or a lychee. <laughs> so the reason why I did this is because mm -hmm. you can go to. Um, Brewsters. Mm -hmm. Brewsters are like our Canadian chain here. And you can have a blueberry ale, a peach mm -hmm. ale, a raspberry oh, yeah. ale. And then you go to like Europe and then you can have like a whole garden of Furley. Mm -hmm. You can have all these different types of beer. Mm -hmm. But I wanted something that was like culturally identifiable. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, lychee beer. Mm -hmm. The beer part, right? It could be the type of beer. You could have a Saison, a mm -hmm. Wit, Double Aged. Like there's so many different styles you yeah. can do it. And that was like one of the reasons why, where I was like, whoa, this beer thing can actually like take off. And now in Edmonton, we've got eight microbreweries and we've got five more opening up That's by crazy. the end of, uh, or by the beginning of 2019. It's insane. So I suck at drinking. I drink one beer and it's like, <sighs> gone too much. Like, like a six pack, you and I, like we'd be good. Like, we'd be like a cheap drink. Do you know what my pet peeve is about oh. restaurants? Mm. Is if you are a, Canadian Western establishment. Why are you trying to sell Chinese food? <laughs> That's the thing. It's this. I I I want to say yeah, but I want to say nah. <laughs> because I I never seen a Chinese restaurant like serve or a, what do you say a Western Western restaurant? Chinese? Yep. But I see a lot of Western getting into Mexican food, like a lot of Western getting into like Mexican food and doing their twist and take on it. Yeah. But what 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 restaurant is um. Like Boston Pizza. Mm, okay, okay. Like you go to BP's and you yeah. can have Chinese food. I'm like, dude, like, <laughs> like my mom would never buy yeah. Chinese food at Boston Pizza. <laughs> not only is it like seventeen dollars, <laughs> you'd be like a whole family with seventeen dollars. Yeah. yeah. Like you go to a real Chinese food, seventeen bucks is like, oh my god, that's what tip included. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Right, man. That's true. Hope you guys enjoy this one. A little something new, a little something different. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also. Don't forget to pick up on your food and life's a beautiful thing. Shirts? Alright, palm on. Let's share this. Peace out.